Hey, oh, what is up, everybody? Holy crap, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome. And first, I just want to get this off the table and say thank you guys so freaking much for 22,000 subscribers. You know, I've been, I've been, you know, messing with YouTube since like 2007. And I never, ever, 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 ever expected this to happen. I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And, you know, we're not stopping here. Like, we're we're going to keep on going. This is going to be, yeah, we're going to not stop until we're at a million. I mean, that's going to be a bit, but hey, why not? You know, that's called hard work. Anyway, so, uh, this quick little video, I just want to talk about uh, Hocus Pocus 2. I didn't like it. I am not going to lie. I, I didn't like it. I, I mean, I know there's probably going to be people that are going to be like, oh, you know, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. And, you know, if you enjoyed it, they more power to you. I'm, I'm happy you did. Me, my issue is, was it necessary? I don't know. Like, what was was the new was the was the second movie really necessary? I mean, like, the first one is such a masterpiece to my and not masterpiece, but it's so good, so near and dear to my heart and a lot of other people's hearts as well. Especially if you are the age of. I don't know, 27 and older, I, I don't know, I mean, it's for everybody, it's not just for a uh, specific audience, you know, but what I'm saying is, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just a very, very good film, but it's funny because the original film actually did not do very well in the box office like a long, a long time ago, back when it came out in 93, when I was born, actually, um, now you guys know how old I am, <laughs> but anyway, um, well, you know, just all, this movie just had like a lot of issues, you know, with me. I, I feel like the acting was a little cheesy. I feel like uh, just the, the, the plot and spoilers ahead, by the way. If you guys haven't seen the new movie, uh, don't watch this video. Okay, so the Sanderson sisters, you know, obviously, Win Winifred, Mary, and Sarah, they all come back because another virgin lit the black flame candle. Well, not the black flame candle, a, a, a candle. A sort of black flame candle, sort of, that was made by a Sanderson sister big fan. I believe his name, what was his name again, babe? Uh, Sanderson sister, oh, a guy, I don't remember. The, the, the guy. I know the guy, the guy. Everett or something like that? Everett, I think it was. I, I, like, hey, can you turn that light off, please? Yeah, I'm trying to I'm busy. <laughs> this isn't getting edited, by the way. It's going to be all argument between me and my lady. Anyway, so sorry about that, guys. Unprofessionality, I apologize. Anyway, um, so... So this guy who actually is a big admirer of the Sanderson sisters, he apparently uh, witnessed them back uh, when in the events of the, of the first film, when he was just a, when he was just a little kid, and he's been obsessed with them ever since. So he runs the Sanderson sisters' old house. Now it's like a big tourist attraction, kind of like how it was in the original film, but now it's more clean, more uh, well done, done up. It looks more like a yeah, kind of like a Disney uh, side, not side show, but Disney, um, like, you know, like a little gift shop or something like that. Yeah, they, they sold gift shops, uh, gifts in there and other crap like that. But uh, anyway, so he apparently made a, another black flame candle, he, uh, purposely gave it to one of the girls, uh, one of the characters. I can't, I can't remember the girl's name. That's how much I really didn't like the film. <laughs> you know, I could probably look her. I could probably look up her name right now. Actually, uh, I think it was Ka not Cassie. Uh, it was Becca. Becca, played by Whitney Peak. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So he, he, yeah, he gave her purposely gave her a supposed black flame candle that she didn't know about. She lit it obviously as a virgin and brought the Sanderson sisters back from the dead. To me, I just thought that was lazy. I'm just like, okay, so anybody can make a black flame candle and have the Sanderson sisters come back whenever. I, I, I just, see, to me, I'm like, that kind of just, like, so you can make another black flame candle, like, in the next one and bring them back for a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth. See, my idea, see, I'm a writer as well, guys, and I, I get very keen on when it comes to, like, you know, specific, uh, Specific ideas is specific, you know, writing errors that I think a, a movie could do better. 
I think, and another thing as well too, they they did not have the three original kids in the in the in the first film come back for this film either. That really annoyed me too. I'm like, okay, that, they should have at least brought them back somehow, you know? I mean, they they brought they brought back the zombie, which was I thought was okay, pretty cool, because appa- apparently he never went, he never died. He you know was raised from raised from the dead in the first film, and then he came back as a zombie. And uh, pretty much, we said he was just asleep in his c- casket for 29 years, and I'm like, that's kind of dumb. But I guess it makes sense because, like, oh, the you know the curse never really uh, ended per se. I really don't know. I, I don't know what goes on behind Disney Studios. I'm I, I don't work for Disney, clearly. <laughs> but anyway, um, so back on track. What was I just talking about? Yeah, the, the kids didn't come back in the thing. So, yeah, so my idea, what they should have done, though, was I think they should have, like, brought back the, the three original kids, and there should have been, like, a um, a spell where it could have been, like, oh, you have to sacrifice three lives in order for the Sanders and sisters to come back. I think that would have been pretty cool. It's like, imagine if, like, oh, like, if it was, like, Max and Allison's daughter or something like that, that I wanted to... Uh, you know, get rid of her parents and their aunt Danny to, uh, it's just so that way this, the, you know, Mar- Mary, Winifred, and Sarah can come back. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh no, we brought the Sanderson sisters back accidentally. Our parents are gone. My aunt's gone. What do we do? And, you know, Binks can't come back and, you know, tell them that they're, they're airheads. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's, just, it's, just, it's all weird it's all silly i know this is very very rambling very off topic crap i'm just an idiot i'm just a spaz who just likes to talk about stupid movies and whatnot. i don't know i mean i wish i would have i wish i could have liked it you know I, I i really wanted to enjoy it, but i did enjoy watching bet midler kath and jimmy and sarah jessica parker return as the sanderson sisters of course i I thought that was actually really cool you know i just watching bet midler at 76 doing you know all that stuff again like how how she used to back in the day it's just amazing because you know my grandmother died both my i think both my grandmothers died at 75 76 and there's bet midler you know up there dancing and singing like how she used to back in the 60s and i'm like that's crazy you know that's absolutely crazy but anyway um yeah, that's my that's that's my review. Um, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if did you guys like the movie at all? Did you guys uh, dislike the movie? Yeah, just uh, like, comment, share, fucking dislike. I, call me an idiot, whatever. I don't know. Just do what you can, man. You know, I wanna. Yeah, I want you guys to be interactive. I want you guys to uh, talk about you know how you guys feel about the film. And whatnot. But anyway, this is good. This is fun. Absolutely. Um, guys, you guys have been amazing. Like I said, thank you. Thank you guys so much again for twenty two thousand subscribers. That's so freaking awesome. Um, you guys have an awesome day, awesome rest of your week. You know, we're almost at the weekend, guys. We're almost there. And my girlfriend is cooking dinner. I heard her. <laughs> <laughs> well, lunch for tomorrow. It's the same thing. Any anyway, guys, I love you very much. Have a good day.